Mtasia TV. Mtasia TV, why should I see this video? Well, this is very special series of startup. It is step by step guide to entrepreneurs on how to start a company and run it. This is Startup Simplified, quick course to young and smart people wanting to start a business. It covers things like how to understand what is the way to register a startup, what documentation involved in registering a startup, how to check if the name to register a company is available, how to check if website can be registered for the chosen name, how to understand the basics of startup registration, what is DIN, CIN, DSC, IEC and all those terminologies and jargons. All that you must know to become an entrepreneur, what are you uh, must know before registering a company. Are you ready to be an entrepreneur? You must watch this video if you want to know uh, if you are ready to start a company or a startup. You might have to know the jargons and terminology of startup so that you quickly grasp what is happening in industry and align your startup plans accordingly. So Mtasia TV will continuously help to understand this startup jargons. These days increasing confidence of entrepreneurs is also being enabled by various initiatives that government, the corporates and the investor communities are talking. Tell me about startup ecosystem in India. The NASCOM report there are total around 9000 startups incepted just between 2014 and 19 just in India. More than 1300 added just in the year 2019 itself. Total 7 unicorns are added in 2019. 24 unicorns are active in India. But you must know there is lot more potential because in China there are 206 unicorns. In United States of South America they got 203 whereas in India it is just 24. So get ready to build one. Total funding received by startup in 2019 itself is around 4.4 billion US dollars. It's around 32,000 crores Indian rupees. So what is Unicorn? So we help you understand these startup jargons used in the startup community. A unicorn is a privately held startup company valued at over 1 billion dollars. That's around 7,500 crores Indian rupees. What aspects to look upon? So before starting a business, there are various aspects that you must look upon. Investment, bootstrapping cost, revenue model and marketing your business plan. But after starting a business, you need to contemplate the little mistakes that you need to avoid. We will learn more on each of these in this video on the series of this video. Don't worry, we'll teach you everything to make you successful to start a company in India. So, what I must know before getting started? So, before you start going towards startup, know the industry. Of course, you must be expert in some area or you know your industry so well. So, you know the money making ways or you're well connected in your industry. Right? Find your competitive advantage. What are you good at? What, do you, what is your strength? Analyze the risk. You must know what you are doing. Why now? Why alone? Or why with this person? Or do I have some savings to survive if my startup takes me uh, uh, to it takes few years to pay me back? Right? Develop your idea methodologically. Uh, that spend more time on idea. At the same time, don't delay too much. Start prototyping your idea. Focus on execution. Don't just keep thinking about your idea. Start acting on it. Acquire investors. You know, think about it. You need funds to run your company. Right? Find support. It can be your family, friends or mentor. Find somebody who can support you. Constantly seek support and help from others. You cannot work alone. You need to be connected in the industry and take, keep taking support from your friends, family or mentors. Secure financing. It can be from your own savings, your parents or you can understand uh, more on how even banks can now help you in pro providing loans. You will also uh, get to know from these videos on complete details of 
venture capitalist funding and all type of funding in coming videos so do something that bugs you right you just have to look at what frustrates you or the some business idea around there see when textbooks cost so too high a person started a website and came up with the idea to start renting the books cheaper and make the money right a look at for few niches your business idea does not have to be reinventing the wheel right take a look at what some of the big players in an industry are missing out or figure out if you can fill the gaps see some company realized a major brand in the guitar pick industry weren't offering a collectible novelty picks and designed a specially shaped pick that filled the empty niche and was sold in thousand stores right so look around and see what what bothers you and then think and convert that uh, issue as an opportunity ways to come with a business idea so apply your skills to an entirely new field think about your skills and whether they might be useful in the new area right find a category lacking recent innovations when coming up with ideas identify markets that haven't had any uh, recent innovations look out for those niche markets or unique uh, the fields or the, uh, the markets where there are possibility of more innovations that's one of the way to figure out uh, you know unique concept for your startup or the other way is make a cheaper version of an existing product right so companies often get their start by offering customers an existing product at lower price right or talk to shoppers to come up with an idea that meets people's need is no better way than talking to shoppers or at least go to amazon or flipkart kind of e-commerce site and then look out for product reviews see what issues that consumers are reporting see what can you do to solve those issues or you play the mix and match game right mix two different products and form a new product this should spark quite a few ideas and then but be prepared for most of them to be bad but you definitely will come up with some unique ideas when you play with this mix and match game of existing ideas recent ideas and the old ideas right but one of the important point to note is many times coming up with ideas is not the problem everyone has ideas for business and inventions and the problem is execution most people lack the wide array of knowledge required to take action to build the company and to bring product to the market and then sell it so understand thoroughly the overall concept required to build a company bring up uh, uh, with a uh, unique product in the market and the way to sell it so question yourself question your passion so do you enjoy what you do does it wake you up in the night does it energize you to do the work ask these questions to yourself like idea do you think you have a suitable idea can you a well wisher some expert in the industry validate the idea how unique is it or is it in new idea or already proven in other countries already is this idea and business is applicable to be in your country as well question all this okay what else is important to consider so what else is important so network of professionals right check if you have sufficient industry contacts that helps you run your industry so you will need help in mentoring mentoring help in validating the idea guidance throughout the life span of the company potential team members that can be your employees as well potential customers and their management remember the influencers in those companies design partners that complements your technology and the collaboration potential influencers of the industry that can help to spread the name of your company and services in the industry right so if you do not have one or more of these uh, from the list do not worry just start acting towards gaining that contact and achieve what you want so the other thing you must consider is do you have financial support so do you have clear calculation of required funds to start the company and the run uh, to run the company do you have sufficient buffer to run your family for next 6 months or 1 year without revenue from your startup think about it but 
make those arrangements and get started. So in this short video, hope you got the answer about how to start thinking like an entrepreneur, what aspects to look out for, what arrangements to make, what questions to ask yourself and we will go deeper into step by step execution in next videos. There's a lot to learn about startup and entrepreneurship. Stay tuned. Definitely yes, thank you. I will be glad to subscribe to your channel. So thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please share this video with your friends. See you again.